Well, one of the biggest reasons I got into education was because of my middle school band director. That was my first favorite teacher. And when I was in his band, I then decided that I was going to one day become a middle school band director. I never wanted to be a high school band director, never wanted to be a college band director. I wanted to come um, right out of high school and be a middle school band director. And once I got out of college, there was only one middle school band director position open and it happened to be here in Leon County. And so uh, I took the opportunity and the rest is history. So I was hired under a principal by the name of Pam Heyman. She was the principal at NIMS Middle School back in 2004. I was hired and she gave me, she gave me one year because uh, I guess the band program had not been existent for about two or three years. She said, you have one year to build this program. And um, I was hired above staffing and she said you had to recruit and you know recruit kids to the program and build it from there and so it was amazing that first year i hit the ground running because i knew if i didn't if i didn't build these this program if i didn't build it, build, pull these kids into the class that um the my job would not exist and the program would not exist and so i started that and i recruited like 60 kids in that first year and then 160 the next year and so um we we, we built a band at Nils middle school a marching band at Nils middle school that was pretty no known in the city As we grew the program, actually the former principal at Raw Middle School um, was my assistant principal. His name is Dr. Christopher Small. He was my assistant principal. And he actually encouraged me. He says, listen, what you're doing in this classroom, you need to be able, you need to be doing school wide. So he encouraged me to go get my master's in ed leadership and actually help prepare me to be an assistant principal. I did not want to because I love what I was doing in my classroom, but he encouraged me to know that, you know, you can impact so many more lives if you had a bigger platform. And so I was able to, to get my master's in, uh, in ed leadership and I applied to be assistant principal and I became principal in, assistant principal in 2010 at Godby High School. And that's how my administration started from there. I think I'm a strong leader when it comes to building relationships with students. I can always relate to kids because I, I always see myself in them. My favorite place in life is in middle school. It was the craziest moments for me, but it's where I found myself, it's where I found my goals in life, it's where I understood what true friends were and were not, it's where I understood what determination, the, the results of determination can get you, and also where I, I made my biggest mistakes. What are you guys supposed to be bringing on Friday afternoon? When I was going through my time in, in elementary, my time in middle school, my time in, in high school, it was that band director who saw the potential in me and make and cultivated it to push me where I could go to college, where I could go and do anything that I wanted to do. And that's why I became a teacher. That's why I wanted to go into education because it wasn't, be, it wasn't for the academic piece. It was for the impact on kids' lives, their hearts, their minds, their souls, and their destinies because I want them to know that you can still make mistakes. You can make mistakes as bad as I did and still bounce back from it and have a future if you make the right decisions from that point forward.